So one more thing before I move to, to section two is one more thing I want to say is, is again, I want to take this, this phrase that they, they, they act as if they have like this, this real knockdown sort of statement. And they say, um, so again, referring to Genesis 126, they say, if, if their insistence, uh, probably their meaning the Christian um, is right, God should have mm -hmm. said, I will make man in my image, in my likeness. However, God certainly said, let us, plural. Uh, and so basically what they're saying is if, if God is really one God, then he should have said, let us make, make man in my image. But he said, let us make, make man in our image. So That's modalism. To, yeah, but jumping to Genesis 127 real quick, I'm going to say that same, <laughs> I, I, and I've said this same thing to them a lot. But Genesis 127 says, so God created man in his own image in the image of God, mm -hmm. he created him, male and female, he created them. So I'll just say the same God thing. Well, just, he just, created him, right? And then it says he created, and then it says, you know, he created, he, he male created and female, them. right? Right. So it, it's, yeah. so this, this verse, just plug this verse into that p paragraph that I just read from the WMSCUG, and you could say, <laughs> If their insistence, if the WMSCOG is right, <laughs> yeah, and God weird. and God is pl uh, plural, there's more than one God. Mm -hmm. Then God should have said, "Let us, me and mother, uh, create mm -hmm. man in our own images, in the mm -hmm. images, the images plural of God. They created him, male and female. They created them. Well, they um, created them. You have to male rewrite female, the Bible. They created them. Yeah. Yeah. But but so, it's just this that that whole point there is just another another push yeah. about how inconsistent the World Mission Society Church of God is um, well, in, in the way they interpret it, the, the Bible in these places. Yeah, and it also comes down to you know the you know will somebody who's you know reading the Bible for the first time you know will they come to that conclusion themselves? that there exists a male God and a female God from these two verses and they won't and no. people have it, you know? So right. it's, it's the whole, you know, they have the idea that there exists a God, the mother, and they're taking verses out of context to prove it. But anybody reading the Bible, you know, people start usually from Genesis. Anybody reading the Bible is not going to catch that. Right. And it's like so. Jordan made a good point. You'd have to literally rewrite those verses yeah. to make it say what they're really saying. Exactly. You know, it said, yeah, they're trying to pick on one word. Like they see the word us and go, ah, even though there's an alternate explanation, Trinity. And they basically you'd have to rewrite tons of parts of the verses to make mm -hmm. any sense at all. Like you kind of put out really good. Yeah. 